go. Well, this is Gary G here with Daniel R. Chalmers. And you were the producer, writer, director of Broken Glasses, yes, correct? Yeah. Let's talk about the talk about it and what was the inspiration behind it to begin with? Uh, the inspiration was basically um, writing from uh, something that scared me, basically. So uh, I took a couple of uh, things that, that really scared me and I explored them. So ultimately it came down to people's choices and the consequences that they have to live with and, uh, and really getting to the core of human frailty. Now what's the message that you want to leave with somebody regarding primarily death issues? Uh, the message, I, I think, uh, for me, is what I, I'd like the audience to be able to realize that not everything is what it appears, not everything is necessarily as bad as it appears, and you really have to uh, think about your actions because the consequences that they carry with them can be uh, dramatic. Is there a silver lining in it that you say, well, I'm coming up, you know, out of a difficult situation with a breath of inspiration? Uh, is there a silver lining specifically to broken glass? I think that, I, I think that um, in it, James uh, has some some preconceptions about, um, about his situation. And, uh, and those preconceptions are, um, are based in, in sort of the reality of, of life now, not necessarily what it could be. So those preconceptions that are scary may not necessarily be as scary as you think. Now, now that you've produced it and shown it, what were the reactions from the audience to it? Was it very, very Positive? Yeah, it seems it seems that everybody was very uh, very positive, and most importantly, um, that it really showcased an incredible uh, acting ability on, on the cast. It was a, an incredible ensemble cast, and they did a fantastic job. Um, the quality of the film it looks great, but uh, something can look great when the story's not there; it just plays flat on the screen. So I think they really brought it to life. And what's next for you? What's next? Uh, I'm working on two feature films. One is a, uh, a period piece that takes place in 1983 Los Angeles and weaves its way back to Jamaica in 1952. Uh, also a psychological thriller with a, uh, a very um, uh, strong female protagonist. And then uh, Evangeline, which is also based on a true story, kind of like a female brain art, where, uh, where the um, Evangeline is in France 1763 during the British Depression and she's able to leave come to uh, the Americas to, to uh, settle in Louisiana and then actually go back to France to see her boyfriend and family. Sounds like something I want to see. Uh, it sounds good. All right, well give yourself a shout out in the film. Uh, shout out? Everybody go see it. Everybody go see it. Go well, see it. this is Gary G. And Daniel R. Chavez. All right, we're here. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, man. One thing I found out was that Writing uh, really feeds your inner God complex. Because you really do realize that you are going to create these characters and their emotions and their, their reactions and their words. And um, and so, yeah, you, I draw from a lot of These people all have, the, the characters all share people in my past, little bits and pieces and stuff like that. Um, but, but to see their job, their acting job, really bring it out. You know, now all of a sudden you see these nuances that they bring, that they brought, that I didn't even write. It wasn't in there. Um, the words were, but you know, words are flat unless you have actors that can do a great job with it. That embody the characters. Yeah. Just leave it up. Oh. Yeah. What does that do for you, Alvin? I don't want any hands. Oh, oh here, come on over here. This is this is my son, Joshua. <laughs> He's right now writing a script and shooting a, a short with his classmates. <laughs> well, I tell you what, with that, how can you, how can you top it? How can you top the new filmmaker coming up? Come on, give it up. All right. Um, remember, guys, you have that audience award ballot. It's really important. Five is best. One is not as good because I do have another film coming right in after you. If you could do me a favor, please take your trash. Another great big hand for Broken Glass. Uh, my name's Eric Charles Jordanson. I've had the uh, privilege.
privilege to play James in Broken Glass. I just screened here at Dances with Films. Um, it was a wonderful experience um, from, from start to finish. Um, probably the one I'm going through right now is, is just being you know, in awe of my castmates and, and the wonderful connection that we made that's going to be new here today. Um, the film is about acceptance and not just about acceptance of ourselves, but you know, what we've done. If we can accept what we've done in the past, then we can make restitution and we can move on. And, and, uh, yeah, it, was, it was great. And, so, now, you were the main character, would you say? Yes, I was. All right. Well, you did a terrific job. Well, thank you. And a really impactful performance. Oh, thanks. All right. What's next for you? Well, actually, uh, some of my friends that are here that are um, we're working on a, on a script that we're trying to raise some money for. Um, it's called Bridgery. Um, I've also got um, a couple of uh, a friend of mine that's we've got a short that's in post-production right now. Uh, and so hopefully that's going to be the screen here um, in the next month or two. Well, very good. Congratulations and Thank good you. success to you. Thank you very much.